Hi everyone, welcome back. Still hope you're doing very well. And today we are continuing with alternative shapes. So first I, I will recap on the previous video, which was our bean bowl soup, soup bowl. So just to recap, I'll be doing a simple oblong shape to show you how the pinching goes. Have just a reminder. And then very exciting, we will be making medicinal flowers. All right, and more about that a bit later. Let's start. So, just to freshen your mind about how to pinch an alternative shape, we are going to shape our ball of clay after neatening it, which I do through getting rid of all these little folds from the ball of clay that I just took out out of the plastic bag and closed so that the dry drying of the clay doesn't happen still need to use that so instead of making a standard round shaped bowl we're going to do an oblong so just to remind you I don't start with a round ball I immediately start with an oblong shape right this I do through squeezing the clay and moving it around until I can get the shape I desire. So oblong, almost like your eye shape, just a bit flatter at the end, or both ends at least. So you're going to have a bowl that's shaped like an oblong and not a round one. And now to start pinching, I'm going to draw a line in the middle of my shape. So in the middle, it's wider and at the tip, it's more narrow. So here I'll be using my pinky and perhaps here my middle finger to start with, right? So in the middle, press down, press down. And now we are creating that hole in the clay body which we would have used our thumb for if we were making a round standard bowl but we are not we're continuing with alternative shapes so i am just pushing down the clay right here in the center of my oblong shape at the tips I am using my pinky also here don't want it too round there still go straight down with a flat base for the bottom so press your finger firmly down in the frame of your base and then the base form or shape should echo the rim in that way, I know that I am sticking to the shape that I created just at the beginning. And it will be a neat form. Right. Now, the same trick counts for when I know when to start pinching. If I press on my palm... I can feel my finger coming through so then I know I've gone far enough okay now I'm ready to start pinching so instead of just going all around you'll be going all oblong and I will pinch and turn and pinch and turn remember how a duck is quacking like that yes not using the sharp tip of your finger but that soft padding and I pinch and I go all around okay following the shape reading my clay so making sure I stay in that oblong shape now your clay might crack here at the top on the rim because remember it's opening up so therefore I use a little bit of water and 
smooth the rim giving that clay some TLC there okay continuing now the tips of the tips of the bowl is quite tricky you need to read your clay so instead of just pushing my thumb in there I need to feel what the clay is saying I need to read the clay so I go around and when I come to this area I'd rather use a different finger that echoes the shape of the oblong corner okay right now I can continue as normal again my thumb on the inside pinch and turn pinch and turn going all around all around and making sure I get an even wall thickness bring this edge up can close it a bit there we go so pinch and turn if you want the rim to bend inwards you gotta hook your thumb and then it will bend over and come inwards almost getting a bit of a seashell idea here really enjoying this organic fingerprints are making so that's fine you can leave that and if you've gone all around you can double check your wall thickness <clears throat> and make sure it's even all around therefore it would be drying evenly all around and much safer for the firing right if you get that your shape is bending on its base like this you can just put it on a table flat surface and push a bit down okay so that's our recap for an oblong shape previous video we did a bean remember yes so you're welcome to watch that again and practice if you really enjoyed it remember it's ceramics is all about practice 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 play 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 having fun right and there I've got an oblong shaped bowl now we will be doing our flower our medicinal flower we're gonna start by creating the midpoint of our flower the center which would be just a round ball okay and the petals so here I've made one before and this is where we're going so that's gonna be the midsection and we'll be pinching each of these and creating our medicinal flower and I'll talk a bit more about that now so if you would like all your petals to be the same size you start out by squeezing a ball of clay and dividing the balls evenly before continuing if you don't mind your petals to be different sized then you don't have to measure pre-hand okay I think I'll have one very bigger one okay now this is our center each of these balls need to, needs to be shaped in your desired shape so see this as a mini oblong all right uh, if you want it oblong shape perhaps you want a round petal but I'd say I'll go for a more daisy like flower and therefore pinching each petal in a similar shape to that of a raindrop okay so just roll around and then at the top just some pressure at the top and there I've got more or less a teardrop shape that would be going all around creating all your petals 
Okay. And the last one. Remember, it's not a rule. It's just a good piece of advice to have uneven numbers always in art. I'd say that makes it more interesting for the viewer because it takes more time to create a pattern or it's more unlikely to instantly have a pattern. Anyway, so sharp object, you can use a porcupine quail or a toothpick or anything sharp. And now I'm going to join each of these petals to the center. I do this through scoring. There we go. One. Scoring the petal. Wetting a little bit. My toothbrush. And there I go. First petal on. May perhaps keep it on the table so we can have a, a base which is flat. Right? So next petal, joining it to the center, can measure with your eye, doesn't have to be perfect, would be boring if it's perfect, okay? Crisscross, scoring. So remember what happens, the clay opens up, if I score, it joins together and it can get strong, yes. Water, water helps for that join. And I'm going to do the scoring for each petal onto the center. Of my flower still looks a bit wonky now that's okay remember we're still gonna work and pinch I love pinching it is such a relaxing way to work with clay or at least in my opinion okay now I've got all five my petals joined I can make sure they're in the most sufficient position. Okay. And because the clay is still fairly wet, I just smear all the parts that I joined for extra strength. I smear them on. And so true for the base as well. Actually quite very important at the base. Because that is where the clay needs to be holding itself together the strongest part of the clay also taking the most strain while you're using your flower okay now here we go still wonky it's okay bit of a starfish now that's okay so now the same idea counts you start by drawing a line in the center of each petal okay you can either do each petal on its own all around or you can do a little bit all around more 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 until you are so far down that you can feel on your palm a finger coming through okay so all around there here we go. I do one by one, just for my comfort. And just with the oblong shape or the bean, if I see cracks here, I use a very little bit of water and I close those gaps, okay? Even though it's an organic shape, still keep it neat, okay? So going down on each petal so why would I call this a medicinal flower not per se 
as you know medicinal flowers now for example the hibiscus flower which can be used to boost your immune system or uh, speed up your digestive system so literally eating the flower or having it in a tea can enhance your health or any of those health is issues if you've got it or let's say another medicinal flower would be the chamomile flower which is a lot known for its beautiful tea fragrance calming fragrance but it's also very good for a runny nose a sore throat or even healthy skin perhaps another medicinal flower would be the indian lotus probably find that in india but the indian lotus is used to calm diarrhea and fever and can also help for instance babies with cholera or any human with cholera i'd say then there's also the lavender lavender is quite a, it's got a quite a big range of health benefits for example, it heals burns or it can help heal wounds. Okay, so there I've gone all around and on my palm I can feel the finger I'm using to come through on my palm, which indicates that I've gone far enough down into each petal of my flower and now we're gonna pinch each petal to come become a little bowl in itself okay so pinch and turn like a duck is quacking remember that soft padding of the finger use it you want a round shaped petal keep your thumb on the inside we can go back to these tips and make them a bit sharper if they have to be although it's great not to have two sharp objects in ceramics because they are the ones that would break off first or even chip going all around and pinching each petal to become a little bowl in itself and therefore i call this our ceramic medicinal flower because what you now can do is when someone's feeling ill take this flower to the bedside with another natural form form of medicine in for example let's say chili chili is our natural source for vitamin c strongest and also garlic which you can add in here garlic is our strongest natural antibiotic perhaps you can add turmeric Turmeric is our strongest natural anti-inflammatory. So any aches or burns inside your body would feel relieved if you use some turmeric. Perhaps you want to add some honey. Honey is good for sterilizing anything. And also cayenne pepper, you can add that. Cayenne pepper opens your veins. There we go. A beautiful flower. 
and each petal a little bowl on its own. Okay, to make it even more sufficient, carrying this around, if you'd like, you can, with a simple quill, which I made and bent it around, creating a ring, add it, after getting leather hard, to the middle of your flower, and press it on there after scoring. Remember, don't pick it up now, but later, to make it easier, you can pick up your flower by this little ring. Okay, that's great. More alternative pin shapes and really get creative, right? Great seeing everyone. It's been a lovely session and enjoy. Be creative, have fun always.